Hello and what's up everybody, this is P. Sherma from Speed Academy and in this video we are going to learn about the CSS scripting. So before starting this tutorial, I want to introduce you to the float property as I have given you an exercise which uses the float property and I haven't teach you yet. So what I decided to include the float property in this video only. So as you can see over here, I have already created a HTML file uh, with the title CSS scroping as we are going to discuss this in this, grouping, uh, in this video only. So the tutorial is all about your CSS grouping, that's why the title is CSS grouping. So don't, that, don't just ask for it. And we are going to work with the float property in this video. So and then after we will move on to the CSS scroping. As you can see, I have created some uh, multiple diff, uh, diff tag over here with different IDs. The first is your header one, second is your nav left mid, and I have given some, I have given a circle ID in between the mid. I will show you why I just, because I want a different section of a circle. And I have created a nav right, and this is nav, oh sorry. This is by mistake. Okay, guys. And this is the last one, use of footer. So uh, let's just start. So uh, let me show you the output first, then we will move on. And as you can see over here in our output, we have done nothing. Okay. okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in my styling part as I have linked my style sheet over here, as you can see over here. And so now I'm going to uh, grab my header ID over here, and I can I'm going to change this background color to um, anything. Sorry. Okay. After saving this, it is not visible on your uh, browser because I, we we have not specified its height and width. So I'm going to specify his height of 100 pixels here and width of about 100%. Okay guys, so after saving this, now it is visible to you on your screen, on your browser. Okay guys, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over here in the starting part and I'm going to <coughs> target my different IDs over here. So my different IDs are never left, middle circle and right okay like this so I'm gonna target my nav left first so here and I'm gonna do the same which I have done over so I'm gonna choose it to orange orange and I'm gonna choose it width to 450 pixels height uh, height to 700 pixels and the and choosing the and specifying the float property here i'm using the left float left i will tell you you can either use float left or float right okay as you can see we have now created a uh, section over here first is your header section and this is your nav left section similarly uh i'm going to create the right section over, uh, middle section over here so i'm going to copy and paste it over here and i'm going to change the middle on the name of the car id i'm going to change it to white i'm going to change it to my uh, height will be same change it to 100,000 pixels and float left only okay and now we are going to target our what is net right i think now you might be able to understand the uh, concept of float property over here so i'm gonna specify it to right as the it, here it is uh, right so i'm going to specify it right so uh this this right float right over here and either you specify the right right float right 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 or float left 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 it's your wish okay guys uh if i use right left over here then it also going to work 
but I'm choosing right. Uh, I will tell you later on. Uh, and let's just choose the left only. Okay. So um, now what we're gonna do? I want to specify the same height and width also here over here. So we gotta choose 450 pixels. I'm gonna choose the background color BGC, uh, which is our green color. And I'm gonna choose this height about 700 pixels, same height. And now I'm gonna choose this um, the footer part. So I'm gonna choose this float left, okay. And I tell you, you can either choose float left, 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 or float right, 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 for creating a different sections of same uh, view uh, because the float left means it will uh, take your all data and uh, assign it to left side uh, and if one is floated to the left side then the next uh, div section will float up just after the first uh, div section I will sh uh, show you in the output uh, then you are able to understand what I mean to say to you uh, I'm going to change this uh, width about to 100% okay and I'm going to change this height about 250 pixels and BGC I'm going to change it to 0, 0, 0. okay so now let's just okay I've chosen the oh, sorry okay sorry guys now let me ch change the width of the length of this to 900 pixels I guess Okay, now you can see I have created different sections over here. Uh, but if I, uh, as you can see, uh, here is a gap. As you can see over here, there is a white space gap. So if I do, what I do, if I just go over here and I write right, then the green part is moving to the right side and your gap got filled over here, as you can see. That's why I'm saying you. You can use according to your requirements. Uh, you can use the according to your requirement of the float property. So, as you can see, I have created a different section over here, and you can also see I have created one uh, circle section in the ID middle. So, what I'm do? I'm gonna grab my circle ID also here. Circle, sorry, circle, and I'm going to. Specify its background color to blue, and I'm gonna change its height to something 500 pixels. Height of also 500 pixels because I'm gonna create a circle over here, and I'm gonna change the margin to uh, 10 percent, 10 percent, and hold up, and hold up. Uh, and I'm gonna do anything else. Okay, we are going to create a ball, uh, circle, and we have to specify a border radius. So I'm going to specify 50% so that it, it is a circle. I think I have chosen the 500 pixels margin. Guys, it isn't visible yet. Why? What is so? What happened, bro? Wait for a second, guys. Okay. Uh, I have written the uh, spell. I have written this long spelling of the circle over here. That's why. Okay. So what I'm going to choose? I'm going to go over here. I'm going to choose it to 10 or 15 percent. Okay. And auto. Sorry. Okay, as you can see, I have created a circle over here, and its position is not looking that good. So I'm gonna change it to 650 pixel, I guess. Okay, not that much. 500. Auto oh, is good, yeah. Sorry. We will set it later on, okay? I will set it later on. So, as you can see, I have created different sections over here uh, by using the ID. But you can also see over here that uh, we are 
by default the browser is providing us some margins over here you can see the white spaces over here on this side the white spaces is present so what you can do is you can just go over here and at anywhere you can use the universal selector so okay a star is your universal selector a script sign which means the universal means uh, whatever style you gave here it's going to space uh, style your whole web page for example if i gave a uh, padding padding zero and margin zero then it's going to remove the margin and padding from the uh, from your web page from all the side as you can see we have zero margin away zero zero all the white spaces are now vanished up so guys in this way you can work with your float property so now let's just move on to our topic which is css grouping so let's go over here uh, should i rub this or let's leave we are going to create over here i'm going to use the h1 tag over here and i'm going to create this with academy okay and I'm going to create a H2 tag over here and choosing the same thing over here, Speed Academy. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose a paragraph over here and I'm going to choose it, sorry, I have specified the style property over here. So I'm going to choose a paragraph over here and I'm going to create a paragraph of lowering of 30 words. Okay. As you can see, I have created uh, one h1 tag over here, one h2, and one h3 tags. Sorry, paragraph tag. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, group them. And what grouping means. Okay. So let me show you. So here I'm going to grab my h1 element. I'm going to choose this font size to 50 pixels or 25 pixels. Okay. And color to be white. With background, white smoke or any. With background, color your any, you can give any. I'm going to choose the black color so the text color get be highlighted over there. And we can choose the font family also to font family. You can choose any of them. I've chosen this one, Sensori from Lucinda, Lucida because I love it. And Similarly, you can just copy this, paste this, and paste this. And now, what you can do is you can just go over here and go over here. As you can see, we have used h1, h2, and paragraph. So I am create. Uh, I have grabbed uh, both of uh, three of them over here: h1, h2, and paragraph over here. And I have put the same property. As you can see, here the same property of the text your material your element having the same properties over here as you can see in my output it is not visible uh, i have to save it i guess okay you can see over here i have created a uh, speed academy and this 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 all the stuff over here maybe it is not visible because i have using some your style properties over here, up, over the other so i'm going to i'm going to create it over here and fold it to left i guess this might be working okay 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 okay, okay. i got here it's just because i have given some space right over here okay over here thousand pixels okay now it is good so as you can see over here guys uh, i have using some uh, h1 tag over here h2 tag over here and your this your paragraph over here as you can see i have using the same style over here so what you can do is you can just uh, rub this all you can erase this all and you can uh, style them you in the same line only by using this uh, providing h2 over here but by bus uh, you can just provide you you just have to specify a comma in between different elements and you can style 
all the element in the same in the same styles because uh, as you can see I have created uh, I have grabbed them differently and styled them uh, same so what it mean means whenever you have same style of elements you can just uh, grab them and in the same line and you can code them style them uh, and, uh, otherwise you means you are going to specifying the style again and again same styles again and again so that sh that should not be done if you are a good developer uh, because a developer always tries to minimize his code so that's all in this video guys i hope you like this tutorial uh, let me show you how it could first and we will end this video as you can see the theme output is over here and uh, because we have uh we have the same we have specified the same properties over here uh of your h1 h2 h3 so as you can see we have the same output so that's all in this video guys i hope you have understand the uh, concept of your float property over here in this video and your css grouping css grouping is nothing uh, it's help you to group a number of elements in a single line and which having the same style properties so i hope you guys like this tutorial and do subscribe to our channel for more tutorials uh, tell you guys stay safe bye